you're going to do is put one tablespoon of your alum into your container and one cup of warm water so that you can dissolve your alum in there. And we're just gonna stir that up and get it good and dissolved. You probably don't need this much. Um, if you want to make a little bit less, you can certainly cut that in half. But we're just going to mix that up and get it all dissolved. Okay, once your um, alum water has, you've dissolved everything, you're then going to take and put just a mark using a pencil or a pen on the corner of your papers. And then we're going to take our paintbrush and we're just going to get it wet and we're going to treat the top of it just by brushing on the alum water right on top of the paper. We're just kind of getting it damp, like so. Then you're just gonna place it to dry. Two cups of hot water, boiling water, hot water, as hot as you can get it. And then you're gonna take a quarter cup of cold water and a quarter cup of your cornstarch. And you're just going to stir that and dissolve it in the cool water. And then you're going to pour that into and stir it into your hot water base. Now I like to take mine and stick it in the microwave and heat it up for about 30 to 45 seconds, or you can put it on in a pan and bring it to a boil on the stove. Once you've done that, you're going to pour it into your container and you are going to let that cool completely. And you can see here that this is thickened up and become the consistency of like a gravy. And we are just going to pour it right off into our container. And again, you want to let this thoroughly cool. Okay, once our cornstarch water has cooled, we're going to take our paints. And again, you can use any color of the acrylic paints you want, but you can use as many colors as you like for this and I'm just going to open them up. Now you what the reason there I have them in these little containers and you can use any containers that you want. I'm just getting a little eyedropper. You can use anything. You can use a straw, whatever. And you just want to add enough water to that paint to get it to the consistency of milk, maybe a little bit thicker where it drips freely just like that. You just, you can see it drip off of there. Um, you don't want it runny. It needs to be thicker than your cornstarch base or your colors will come out light or non-existent. Um, if that's the look you're going for, you'll want them really thin. If you want more color, a little thicker is what you want to go for. So with that said, the next thing you want to do is you can use a paintbrush. You can use these little droppers. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that, Amazon. And you're going to go in, I'm going to start with my yellow. You can start with any color that you want. And I'm just going to be dripping it and all over the surface of this cornstarch. Now, you want to pop any air bubbles that may form. doesn't really matter. They will get popped here in just a little bit. I'm just going to sit this there. Um, you can use a paintbrush and tap it across the surface and get that paint going like that as well. I'm going to grab my other brush here. But I'm just going to be splattering some different colors around on the surface of our cornstarch base. And again, you can use any of the tools that you have, any tools that you like to work with. I'm gonna do a little of my pearl white in there. 
play with it, have fun. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow, I believe. Just gonna bring those all in. And I may use some of my gold. And this is just the gold. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that about. All right. And then you can leave it as is and do your thing, or you can bring in any tool, the back of a paintbrush, anything, and do some of the drag marks on there. We're gonna place that there. And then we're going to get a sheet of our alum treated cardstock, the um, watercolor paper. And looks like I have a dot on that one from my ink pen. I'm gonna grab another one here. And you wanna make sure that you've got the dot side, that you, the side you treated, and you're going to place it face down onto that cornstarch base. And then you're going to gently lift it up, pick it up, and you can see there's a little place here that didn't get any. I'm just gonna go and smear a little bit through there. It's okay. And we're gonna let that sit for a second, and then we're going to put it into the water bath and rinse it off. Now, the longer you set it, let it sit, the more color it should pick up. We're just gonna rinse that off. And I'm a little off camera there, just so you can see, I'm just rinsing it, okay? And now I'm just gonna sit that over to dry and it's got a little bit of cornstarch on there still, and that's okay, let me pull that over. We're gonna let that sit and then I'm going to let it dry for a little bit you can rinse it a second time, but I'm going to let mine sit for a moment just to get those extra colors to grab onto it. I do have enough in here to probably dip again, but I'm going to add a little bit more paint and continue on doing the same method and rinsing um, with all of my colors. dry those as I mentioned before. I'm just going to let mine dry probably overnight and we'll go to making our cards. Mm -hmm. 